Miami and New England tied for second favorite at plus 450. RC back here with us. Right, tell me this. Which team is the biggest threat to challenge the Bills? See, no longer, it still feels weird that it's not the Patriots. Challenge the Bills in the AFC East. The Miami Dolphins. And I know people are going to be like, oh, it's the Miami Dolphins and Tua Tunga Valoa this and Tua Tunga Valoa that. Well, you go out, you get Connor Williams, you get Teron Armstead. Now they're the guard, they're the tackle that's going to be protecting uh, Tua Tunga Valoa. You go out and you get Tyreek Hill. And then if you think to yourself, if you thought to yourself in the draft last year, which one of these wide receivers, Jamar Chase, Devontae Smith, Jalen Waddle, has a chance to add the type of explosive play that Tyreek Hill does, you would think Jalen Waddle. Now those guys are on the same team. Oh, where did Mike McDaniel study? Who did he learn under in calling plays? Kyle Shanahan. So you know that run is first. And from run, you lead to the big play action passes, which allows Tua Tonga by lower time to get outside the pocket, be comfortable, and make plays downfield, which people say he can't make. Now, go to the defensive side of the ball. This is a defense that has carried this team. And now you have more help offensively. Javon Holland is going to be a pro bowler this year. Zayvon Howard, one of the best corners in football. Christian Wilkins anchoring that defensive line. Great rushers on the outside. I believe the Miami Dolphins are a playoff team. If Tua Tungabaloa takes the leap that many people expect quarterbacks to take from year one to year two and year three now under Mike, McDaniel, Mike McDaniels. This could be a team that can not only get to the playoffs, but make noise. I believe the Buffalo Bills are the best team in the AFC, period. I expect them to win the East. I expect them to be in the AFC championship and be the team that represents the AFC in the Super Bowl. But if you're talking about their division, what's going to be their toughest battle when they're going to have to cha- uh, strap the chin strap up and come ready to play to me it's the Miami Dolphins it's not about history and what the Miami Dolphins have always been what it's about is the way that this team finished last year the adjustments right and the people they've added in the offseason and now switching to an offensive minded head coach to tutor and bring along to a tongue of Aloha. and let's remember this they now have a head coach that coached the team with Jimmy Garoppolo that team went to the Super Bowl that team in another year went to the NFC championship so don't give me the Tua can't take them there talk if you have the right pieces around them and the Miami Dolphins do. They're going to be the biggest challenger to the Buffalo Bills. First off, from a betting standpoint, I love the Jets bet at plus 12, whatever it is, plus 12, 12-5. I mean, <laughs> You're they, a big betting well, guy. You know, think about it. They're plus 12-5 and the Dolphins are plus 4. Well, hold on now, the Dolphins are not three times better than the Jets with a young coach who's never coached a game in his life. This Mike McDaniel now, was he Bill Walsh, Don Shula? He's never coached a game in his life. And he was an offensive guy in San Francisco, and the offense is run by Shanahan. So sometimes when you bring in a new coach who wants to work with your offense, you want him to work with a previous job where the head coach is a defensive-oriented guy. He's an offensive guy under an offensive coach. That's one of the reasons why the Andy Reid guys don't do anything. Because the offensive guys, because Reid's so there, so everybody knows it's Reid's offense. I would say it's not Miami. Because I am not taking that combination, Ryan, under any circumstances. Are you going to convince me now that the combination of McDaniels and the combination of that quarterback who can't break a plane of paint of glass and he can't run? You know, he can't run and he can't throw ball deep. So if you can't run and you can't throw the ball deep, that's a major problem. He's not a great scrambler. He's tiny. And remember, the two big games that he has played in the NFL where you had to have that quarterback play a big game. He played horrifically in Buffalo two years ago for uh, Flores, and they got destroyed, where if they won the game against a Bills team that was playing for nothing, they would have made the playoffs. And then last year in Tennessee, in Week 17, when he got annihilated by the Titans and he had to take him out of the game, he was so upset. So the two times we've seen two in the NFL have to play a big game, he did absolutely nothing in the game. Now we're going to bring McDaniels in, and all of a sudden he's going to be, he's going to be Shula, to, Shula to Marino. That's not happening. So it's not Miami. I don't understand that logic at all. i got to be honest with you. You have to take Belichick and you have to take Mac Jones. You have to. I mean, uh, you know, Jones played very well last year as a rookie. He's not going to be great, but he's going to be pretty decent. He played well last year as a rookie. The guy's the best coach in football, bar none. Yes, a horrendous playoff game. I understand that. Bill will use that for motivation. I don't know how anybody could sit there and tell me that a McDaniels combination with Tua is better than a combination of Belichick. Belichick, outside of Lombardi, the best coach of all time in the NFL, Belichick 
and Mac Jones. You right. can't say that combination's better. RC, you think two is the better quarterback, right? I do. I, th I think Tua is, a, Tua is a more talented quarterback than Mac Jones. And I actually got confused when Mad Dog was talking. He said a quarterback couldn't break, break a, a, a pane of glass. He also said a quarterback couldn't run. I actually thought he was talking about Mac Jones because Mac Jones can't do either of those things. And in Mac Jones' infamous picture where he doesn't have a shirt on and he's smoking a cigar and he's kind of a thicker guy, now he's gotten himself in shape. The other two quarterbacks in that picture were Jalen Hurts and Tua of Aloha. And guess what? Mac Jones wasn't better than either of those guys then because he wasn't getting on the field. And if you look now, Mac Jones' ceiling has always been the question, not necessarily his floor. So I expected him to understand the game, anticipate the game, be able to throw the football into tight windows short, but not necessarily push it down because that's physical. I think Tua Tungvaloa has a chance to make that ascension. We watched Tua Tungvaloa at Alabama push the football down the field when he had open guys, when he had explosive receivers. We saw him do the same thing with Jalen Waddle and getting him the ball in the second half of the season where he can make large plays with the R's ass of the catch. And now you're going to add Tyreek Hill to that. You also have Raheem, Raheem Mostert, Mostert. You now have a better offensive line from a team that from a passing situation and from a protection situation was at the bottom of the league last year, which was 31 or 32, and being able to pass protect. I believe this team will be all around better. And no, I'm not taking many combinations of coach and player when one of those coaches is named Bill Belichick. But we are talking about a team here. You're talking about a team in the New England Patriots that missed the playoffs two years ago and that got shellacked in the playoffs a year ago. I believe the Miami Dolphins are the biggest challenger to the Buffalo Bills. I know when it comes to Mad Dog, we want to talk about history. But for those of us who understand that you can now stream movies or download the movies to your iPad and you don't have to watch it on the joint that rolls like this, we know that things can change year to year when you get better. And that's what the Miami Dolphins have done. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.